Hello. Okay, so this is going to be a very quick run through of the celebration part of the latest update of Warsim. Uh, so I'm loading an autosave at the moment, and I've got a celebration called the Davis Loader. Um, where is it? Which should occur every three years. I think it will occur at the end of this turn, but I'm not entirely sure. So we will see. Celebrations basically are something that you can declare for your kingdom um, to happen at any particular time um, every so often. So it could be every two years, every three years, five, ten, twenty-five, fifty, I think a hundred years might be an option, I can't remember. And you declare some of the parameters of that. So is it going to be a celebration about freedom, about fire? sacrifice um, alcohol you can mix up to three various things um, one of my favorites is the ceremony which this festival I've declared includes so the day of his loner the one that I've uh, pre-made for this game um, is about alcohol gift giving and um, a royal ceremony and the royal ceremony is the part that we're looking for so here we go so the royal ceremony will occur at the very start of the turn of the year in question um, if you declare it and so this occurs every three years so every three years in game every three turns I skip we get one of these and it's, it's quite nice actually in the game it breaks it up a little bit um, so the court gathers and the time arrives for the day of his loner celebrations there are three those there and it's making me feel like I'm having a stroke but I'm gonna fix that later on um, once the royal ceremony begins so here in this particular save a lot of criteria has been met so this is going to be a particularly stuffed full of NPCs kind of ceremony. Um, however, in your game it may vary. Um, obviously I, I know what I need to do to make a lot of people appear here. So essentially, um, I vassalized all of the kingdoms in the game. So the other five kingdoms are essentially sub-kingdoms of my own. Um, which means all of their kings have to come. And occasionally they bring their champions. I own the black market. So I could... And probably will get at least one NPC from the black market visiting. Um, and I've also got quite a lot of lands, which means I should get a lot of filler NPCs that will also show up. So without any further ado, let's begin. Um, I also forgot to say I have all the staff. I have six different staff members, so each of them has to come. So what we get is um, the NPC that is visiting. In this case, it's Clemic the Hydra, my diplomat. We then get a random message and a random gift they don't always bring gifts and sometimes the gifts aren't a gift it's just a message saying that they don't have a gift um, but it keeps it fresh it's quite different so here we go it's great to see you today my king and he's brought me 840 gold so Clemic the diplomat is is a good guy my spy master bless you with the strength of a storm but no gift what a dick all right um my jester thrin the hydra arrives i'm honored to be here my liege honored but you couldn't bring a gift Long may you reign. So they're all being cheapskates. Uh, my game master, Cleon the Warlike, nothing. Here we go, Aaron the Bard. I brought you a magical orb of chaos, said to make the life of the beholder more interesting. It's not easy to find, so I hope you appreciate it. See, that is a man who knows how to gift. So now we're going to our vassals. So we've got uh, the Lord of the Mandus Colony, Lord Inderil, the Outland Lord. May our alliance stand strong. And he's brought me a chest of 948 gold. And with him... Um, Grand Vizier of the Faceless Sultana of Gorvac, which is another kingdom. And then we've got um, the Master of the Light Communities, Dumblewop the Refugee. And then we've got Chief, the Great Chief of the Skulldead Clanlands. And with him, he's also accompanied by Goril the Dirty, the Grand Champion of the Skulldead Clanlands. I wish upon you great troves of wealth. Here is 48 gold. Very cool. And we've got the Imam of the Night Mead Imamit. So you have a kingdom too. And you have subjects. This guy's a little weird. And he's brought with him Tethys the Woodlousen, Grand Champion of the Mead Knight Imamit. I bring you the gift of my presence. Oh, what an arse. Okay. Um, Nicholas, famed bug hunter of the Black Market, has arrived. Um, Zardon, one of your distant relatives, has arrived. Alad, a retired knight, has arrived. Sir Thalmia, a noble. Fildrin, one of your distant uncles. Um, so those are, there's actually surprisingly few guests. 
Um, all of the last ones after Nicholas were all um, randomly generated based on how many lands you have. So you, you can get up to maybe 20 um, if you've got, say, you know, 30 odd lands. You can make it quite full. Lots of nice gifts. Um, so all the guests have arrived. We've got four acts. So this is going to be amazing. First act of the evening is a pair of men come to brawl for your honour. Okay, so there was a fight. The second um, is a changeling who arrives ready to show you the amazing dance of the changelings. Fascinating. Nothing like a free seizure. The third event of the evening arrives. It's a band of merry men and beasts from the black market who are here to sing a sea shanty for us. Excuse a terrible lick simp. Okay, let's never listen to that again. So, a fourth event. Oh, God, another singing group. The crew of the Long Serpent, a famed ship of explorers and warriors, come to sing their famous song of thunder. Nope, can't be bothered with that. So, we got four events that that particular time. Um, sometimes you get two or three. I'm not sure if you can get five. I think it may be between two and four events. So we got quite a full packed list of events that we had going on there. Um, you have all sorts that can happen. I think there's at the moment there's twelve different events, maybe fourteen. Um, so with the entertainment over, the ceremony is finished, and the game now begins in the year of the celebration so if we scroll up I've received 2,495 gold in gifts from my people during the day of Azlona so that's that's alongside other stuff that happens if we go to the throne room now a drunk man who aggressively demands I legalize marriage to carrots this is an encounter that spawns purely because we allow alcohol during the celebration so we get a lot of drunk encounters um, so a drunk man has come in to thank me for creating the day of Aslona. Um brought me a little present to celebrate because it's gift giving related and you get a lot of these um, so it is possible to get other encounters I think here we go but it's rare during during these sort of events you tend to get mostly event related throne encounters so here's another one Bulgriff, the night wind a messenger he visited by a gold fauna arms from the mad colony of ogle um lord indra the outland lord sends his best wishes during the celebration so you get foreign diplomats um i like this one actually this is randomly generated you're visited by a drunk man who is obnoxiously who has an obnoxiously large cup made of wood and filled with mead he says he will drink an entire cup to your honor he chugs halfway but then throws up into the cup and leaves. That's disappointing. And I think there's like 10 different possibilities of this chug, chug, chug encounter. So he can get it right, he can get it wrong. He can also like go really badly. Um, I have no idea what just happened. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome. So yeah, you get the idea anyway. Um, so that is just a little bit of... Uh, look into the new celebration aspect um, you can I mean I'll show you how the celebration system actually works oh, um, so we'll declare a new one we'll call it happy day because we're pathetic um, okay so every three years five years ten years or a hundred years whatever you pick and we can choose what happens so parades will cost us money but will increase people's happiness sacrifices kind of weird but you know whenever floats your boat people will be sacrificed um, if you choose free or slaves and prisoners whenever the event occurs any slaves or prisoners in your custo custody can think of a word there um, any any slaves or prisoners that you own will be automatically freed including anyone in jail um, gifts and gold um, is the one we've got enabled at the moment in the celebration we just had and that means you get people bringing gifts to um, well, at the end of every turn, 
during the encounter as well as random throne room encounters where people bring them to you as we saw the large ceremony is the thing that we we witnessed just then where numerous npcs are invited and there's events and things um people getting drunk is drunk encounters and um, people burning celebratory fires adds i think a few fire related encounters but i can't remember and my normal mix is gifts and gold for gift related encounters large royal ceremony because it's fun and people getting drunk because of the encounters oh hang on um you're only allowed up to three but you can have less you can start with only one and the celebration of happy day will occur every 50 or so years i can't remember what i selected there but that is that so that is the let the people celebrate update um there will be more to come thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy the game